a little intoxicated, I'm not gonna lie. Billy Olsen's sitting here and had the idea of putting some of the pictures next to pictures of farm animals and have people vote on who's hotter. Good call, Mr. Olsen. Yeah, maybe not. I get it. You just finished watching The Social Network and you really want to make something. You want to make the website. Face Mash. The one where he hacked into Harvard. You can feel it. This is the first step in becoming a tech billionaire. Well, guess what? I'm here to tell you that it's pretty easy to make. So let's get into it. Go ahead and open up a text editor or whatever you choose and then make a file. I'm going to call it Face Mash, but I actually don't even know how to make a file. So I'm really just going to be outlining how you kind of make this thing. All the code's going to be in the description. If that's a little too daunting for you, feel free to just copy it and paste it and run it in your editor and it should work because my code always works. But for those of you who are curious, we're going to be using the Python Flask framework in the SQL database libraries and the front end's just going to be whatever you want. I chose these because it's quick and easy and no one in their right mind would publish a website like this. So let's get into the functionality of the website, Face Mash. To begin with, there's going to be two images, image one and image two. And the basis of this is that we're supposed to choose which image we like the best. Now, just like Mark's website, we're going to give each of these images their own score. Give each girl a base rating of 1400, and at any given time, girl A has a rating RA and girl B has a rating RB. When any two girls are matched up, there's an expectation of which will win based on their current rating, right? Yeah. It's pretty simple. Give each image a score with a base rating of 1400. Now, I'm going to go into a quick little analyzation of what the algorithm actually does here. To begin, we want to first define each player as a probability. So we then have player A and player B. Now with the equations that Eduardo used on the window, i.e. ELO's algorithm, we can go ahead and throw them into a Desmos graph. This allows us to see that players with a strong difference in their ratings will yield one player who is not going to have a high probability of winning and another who will have a higher probability of winning. Meaning that if the player with the lower probability did win, they would score more points and the player that did have the higher probability would lose more points. So returning back to the website, we're going to give each player a base rating of 1400. Because they both have 1400 as a rating, this means that whoever wins will gain or lose the same amount mutually. Looking at the actual Python code, we're just going to copy and paste this equation. For score increases, we're just going to be using 100 and then the multiplier from the equation. I'm not really going to go into detail about how I use the database, but you can look at the code in the description and it should be pretty easy to follow. It's basically just anything you'd see in a CS50 course. But yeah, this is actually all the code right here. The only file you should look at is really just app.py. Now this is where all the Flask logic exists, and then when you go over to helpers.py, this is where all the SQL logic exists. And then on populator.py, this is how we're populating the SQL database. So to run the program, just click app.py and click run. Then go to this local address. Now this is only running on your computer, so keep that in mind. Now copy that and go to your browser. I'm just using Brave Browser right now. And once you paste that, you should get this website. Now as you can see, all of the ratings are at 1400, as I said, because that's their base rating. And I have a little leaderboard set up as well. As you can tell, I'm really good with colors and graphic design. Go ahead and start clicking on the images, and you'll notice that the website dynamically updates to the clicks. So as you can see, the leaderboard has now been changed, and Saul is now at the top. Now if I were to start clicking other ones, you can start to see their scores also change, and it's using the algorithm as I stated. The scores are updating just like they were on Mark Zuckerberg's website. Right or left? Left is left. And yeah, there you go. That's the entire basis of Face Smash. But wait, what about all the hacking stuff? I want to hack into Harvard. I want to see all the pictures. Well, here's my recommendation. Don't. It's not a good idea. All right, here's what I will tell you, though. It's actually, uh, it's, it's quite easy to steal a lot of pictures from, uh, per se, you know, your school. Um, because a lot of times their security is not that great. But, uh, you know, anyways, you do what you will and, you know, just go have a little fun and uh, be careful. That's all, folks. Goodbye.